Hello fellow traders. Now welcome to a new trading week. Okay, so in today's video, uh, I'm going to prepare you for uh, a week ahead. Okay, I'm going to look through the different charts, the different currencies uh, as what uh, I always do. Okay, so as always, make sure you take down a notepad, right? write down the key levels as well as the bias uh, that we have. Okay, so even if you choose not to uh, use our signals, uh, you can still take note of these important levels and make your decision around uh, these important levels. Okay, so if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we create a lot of videos that are designed to help you and you won't want to miss any of these kind of videos uh, that we create. Okay, so let's go into uh, the Forex calendar. Okay, the first thing we always do when we analyze the uh, markets is we always look at the Forex calendar. Okay, if you watch our other videos, this is a consistent thing that we do every single week. Okay, we do it week in, we do it week out, and uh, we try to predict the market conditions by looking at the Forex calendar. Okay, so that's the number one tip uh, that we have for you when you're doing your preparation is to look at... Um, the forex calendar ask yourself if there are any major events okay so for this week we are in the week of uh, july 13 july and uh, the market has already opened okay so you can see that uh, on wednesday we're going to have the uh, boj outlook report and the boj monetary policy statement okay we're also going to have the boc monetary policy report okay so a lot of news okay you have the boj uh, japan you have canada Okay, you have uh, all this uh, hard data, which is the CPI, employment change, unemployment rate. And this is the one that it's, it's the biggest. Okay, you have ECB. You have ECB press conference and you have the policy statement. Okay, so for this kind of trading weeks, because uh, there are a lot of conferences, the market will be very constipated. Okay, because this, you know, conferences, you do not know what is going to be said at the conferences. And therefore, the market doesn't really want to move because institutional players are not going to bet you know, big on a given direction when they do not know what is going to be said during the conferences. Okay? For hard data such as this, right, sometimes uh, the big boys, the institutional players, already know what this number is. Okay? So sometimes what they do is they position their trades uh, before the news is being released. Okay? So in this case, uh, it's going to be a difficult week to trade. So if you are trading, um, you know, the best is to wait for the event to be over. Right after 8.30 on Thursday will be the best time to trade after the conference. Okay, of course, uh, wait for the conference to end uh, because in this case, the conference starts at 8.30. Uh, it doesn't end at 8.30. Okay, because this is not a hard data uh, release. It's a conference. So you might take about an hour. So the best would be to wait to about 10 p.m. and then, you know, look for signals uh, to long or to short the different currency pairs. Okay. But you want to be very careful if you're risk this week and you want to just be very patient. Okay. Do not force a trade. Just wait for the trade to come to you. Okay. It's very likely that uh, we won't send out much trade signals this week. Okay. Because of uh, all this kind of uh, news. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to the charts. Okay, because ultimately, um, we still need the key levels. So make sure you uh, write down the key levels, right? Write down the biases so that uh, you can use it uh, in your own analysis. Okay, even if uh, you choose not to uh, follow our signals, which is totally fine. Okay, so the first thing we do is always do a DXY. Okay, so uh, right now I'm on a DXY, I'm on the uh, daily chart. Okay, let me just get my tools. Okay, so the DXY is actually at support right now. You can see it's at supported at 0.618. Okay. Uh, in some of my previous videos, I always talk about this uh this uh kind of situation, right? Where the market will always park at a critical level before a news event. Okay. So the market it's always like that. It always likes to just park here and make you bet, right? It's like a bet. You have to bet whether this level will be supported or will be, you know, broken. Right, you, it's, it's really a bet. And that's the reason why I do not like to trade this kind of uh, you know, in, uh, news event because it's really like gambling, right? It's, it's just parked there. You are guessing it's 50-50, right? It, it either gets supported or it gets broken, right? There is no sort of uh, edge in your analysis because you just know that, okay, price is parked here, okay? So right now, price is still nicely parked at this level, okay? So... um. You just want to be very cautious, okay? If you do see a bounce of this level, then a uh, dollar is going to strengthen. And if you see a break, then a uh, dollar is going to weaken, okay? So it's a uh, rather straightforward, okay? Uh, one thing to note is that um, overall DXY is in a downtrend. You can see that this is a low, 
this is a high and this is a lower low okay so we're in a downtrend and uh, this resembles a shoulder shoulder head and shoulder okay let me show you in the line chart so you have the left shoulder here you have the head and you have the right shoulder okay so you do see kind of like um head and shoulder pattern and this is kind of like the neckline as well okay so you have this very important level you're just not sure whether a price will close below it or not okay so uh dollar it's uh, very critical right now um i don't do not want to make any prediction about which way it'll go but i just want to bring up this important level which is uh 96.50 okay if you draw it properly uh it's actually about uh 96.49 okay so just plus minus about 96.50 okay so now let's go to our euro dollar Okay, Euro dollars also a complete mess. You can see over here that uh price has been consolidating since uh, 10 June. So it's almost the entire month that uh, the, the market has been consolidating. Okay, but uh do take note that the uh, the trend is still up. Okay, you have the high here, you have the low here, and then you have a higher high here. So a uh, long term uh, we're still looking at up move. And uh, if you draw a descending trend line here, okay, let me just uh, fix it properly. You draw a descending trend line, then what you have is a breakout and a retest. Okay, um, but the problem right now is that price is very close to resistance. Uh, let me just show you the resistance. This is a recent high. Okay, this is a recent high. I think uh, in the previous uh, market outlook video, I did say that uh, this reassembles a shoulder, head, and shoulder. So this is the left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. Or if you see it the other way, then this is the first bottom and this is the second bottom. Okay, let me just show it to you. So if uh, you see it the way I do, then uh, this is your left shoulder. Okay, this is your head, and this is your right shoulder. Okay, uh, if you can't really see it well, then uh, this is actually the first bottom and this is the second bottom, which is also reassembles a double bottom. Okay, so regardless of whether you see it as a uh, inverted head and shoulder or a double bottom, the conclusion is still the same. Okay, the neckline is somewhere here and our uh, price has not broken it. Okay, so our uh, price is kind of supported by this uh, trend line, broken retest, and our uh, price is just trying to break this. Okay, so uh, it's in a very narrow range right now. In fact, uh, if you go to the, uh, date, the H4 chart, you can see that uh, this is the entire range that uh, the tr price is trading. Okay, uh, what's interesting is that you do see sort of like a head, uh, head and shoulder pattern also. Okay, let me just sh show it to you. So it's very tricky. You have this uh, left shoulder, you have the head, and you have the right shoulder. Okay, so this is similar to DXY where the market can really go anywhere. Okay, I'm not too keen on uh, making a prediction of whether um, this head and shoulder will be true or you know the big. Uh, inverted head and shoulder will be true so i think the best thing you can do right now is just take note of these levels okay in this case would be uh, this level over here 1.1347 okay and uh, this recent low here okay and just wait for a form of uh confirmation just wait for price to break out of either of these levels okay because uh, personally i'm not too keen in uh, trading within this range it's a very narrow range i don't like it i don't like the trade range Okay, I like to trade trending setups. So for me, I'll just uh, wait for price to break out um, either to the upside or break out to the downside like this. Okay, so just take note. Okay, if price were to break down, uh, you do have one more level of support, which should be um, the recent low here that you need to take care of. If you sell somewhere here, you try to lock in your profits when you come here because you, know, you are counter trend and uh, this is a um, market structure low. Okay, so just take note of these levels. Okay, let's talk about uh, pound dollar. Okay, so pound dollar looks very strong. In fact, uh, since the uh, bottom here, it's been buying every single day, just buy up, 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 up. Okay, but uh, you do see that there is some form of uh, resistance over here. This one over here, you can see that there is this line over here, this uh, spike high over here. Okay, so price is very close to the spike high now. Okay, in fact, if we draw the Fibonacci tool and you take the high to low, okay, we can see that uh, that coincides with the uh, 0 0.786 level. Okay, so we are very, very close to the uh, resistance already. So I, I don't like to uh, be buying up, you know, so high. Okay, so ideally, I'll be looking for a short and uh, sell it down. Okay, so the good thing about pound dollar is that it's not so con constipated. Right, you might get a nice uh you know retracement trade um down, okay, because it's not so uh you know it's not as tight as this, it's not so um constipated, okay. 
So just take note of uh, this level 1.26855. Okay, this is uh, a good level to look for a potential sell. Okay, and then um, try to uh, lock in your profits uh, fast because uh, you're kind of doing a counter trend trade. Okay, because uh, this, let me show it to you. Okay, this was the low. Let me, this is the low, correct? This is the high. And then this is the low, lower low, but price went higher than, uh, you know, this high. So in a sense, we are, there's a trend change and we are in uptrend. And if you look at um, this entire trend here, this is a high, okay, this is a low, this is a higher high, and this is a higher low. Okay, so you, you can still argue that it's in the uptrend. Okay, so just be careful if you are shorting, you are just shorting at a strong level, right? Just uh, be sure to lock in your profits fast if you are going to short at uh, this 1.2685 level. Okay, now let's look at gold. Okay, gold it's, uh, let me just uh, clear this. Okay, gold it's a very clear uptrend. Okay, it's a very nice move up. Um, except that, uh, Price has been a bit slow this uh, on Friday and on Thursday. Okay, so you can see that uh, price has a very strong uh, support here. Okay, uh, in fact, this is actually what I call a demand zone. Okay, uh, I do have a video about this how to find demand zone, which is basically looking at the departure of the level. So you can see over here that um, no price departure uh, one, two, three, four, four nice candles. So this is a very strong level. Okay, but okay, here's the issue. But here's the issue you have this uh, descending trend line over here, okay? So if you are looking at, you know, um, buying, you are buying into a resistance currently, okay? So uh, ideally, I want to see some form of a trend reversal first, okay? I want to see that uh, this recent high is being taken out, okay? Um, let me just draw it, okay? Because this is kind of like a double bottom uh, pattern. This is the first uh, bottom, and uh, this is the second uh, bottom. Okay, and so naturally, this would be the neckline. So I want to see some strength in a uh, goal. I want to see price close above this neckline first. Something like, uh, you know, this way. And then you do the retracement down. You just buy on the retracement, uh, something like this. Okay, just wait for this level to be broken first. Okay, otherwise, if you buy right now, okay, at uh, 1804, you are buying into resistance. Okay, resistance might break. Right, but uh, I think it's always good to get it in a good level instead of uh, buying at a, uh, you know, at a level which uh, price might or might not uh, reverse. Okay, so that's for gold, very straightforward. Okay, now let's talk about uh, dollar cat. Okay, so dollar cat uh, was pretty nasty uh, because last week we had cat news and uh, just look at how price, you know, pump, um, you know, use the news event to pump uh, dollar cat up. Mm resulted in a lot of people losing money because this week over here uh, took out a lot of stop losses. People who place their stop loss above this recent high would have lost money. Okay, so this is a classic, you know, uh, take out trade. Okay, so what happens is that now uh, price is uh, closing below this horizontal line. Let me draw it. Okay, so if you go into the H1, you can see that this is actually a double top. Okay, double top. So this is the first top, this is the second top. Right now, price seems to be closing below it. Okay, so we might have a nice trade. Okay, but um, just a word of precaution if you were to short it somewhere here, uh, just make sure that uh, you watch out for this level. Uh, kind of like an inverted head and shoulder. This will be the left shoulder, this will be the head and uh, potential right shoulder. And also look out for the recent low because uh, this level here is very strong. Okay, so if you want to short, you can just be very cautious that. Uh, you have two very important levels, one here and one here, okay? So you don't just want to uh, try to uh, catch the big trade, but uh, you want to take your profits fast uh, if you're going to short a dollar cap, okay? Just, so just take note of uh, these levels. Okay, let's move on to uh, Kiwi dollar. Now, I don't really like Kiwi dollar because uh, it's, uh, it's been very constipated, okay? Partly because uh, Kiwi has moved a lot, okay? Kiwi is one of the strongest pair. So I think uh, price is a bit exhausted, okay? So what happens is that uh, this is the recent high, okay? If you can't identify that this is the recent, recent high, uh, just switch to the line chart, okay? And uh, just get the level, okay? So what's interesting is that a uh, price close above it and uh, managed to stay above it. And today, the uh, candle low, it's uh, still above the uh, this level of 0 0.65748, okay? 
Uh, but bear in mind that right now, uh, at, at the time of recording, this video is only 12.53 p.m. Okay, I'm in GMT plus 8. Okay, that means that uh, the Asia session is still trading. Uh, Europe session hasn't started trading. Okay, so it's possible that, you know, during the Asia session, uh, sorry, not Asia session, during the Europe and US session, price starts selling down. Okay, so I just want to watch this level very closely, 0 0.657, uh, sorry, this is the level, sorry, 0 0.6559, okay, or 0 0.560. Okay, this level is very important. I want to make sure that price is able to stay above it. Okay, if it stays above it, then I'll be looking uh, to buy. Okay, if it closes below, then uh, I want to reevaluate my uh, trades, my trade idea, because um, uh, you can see that in the grand scheme of things, we are still in the uptrend. You have the high, you have the low, okay, you have the higher high, and you have the high, higher low here. Okay, so uh, I, I don't really want to be shorting counter trend from here. Okay, so uh, I have to watch for a reaction uh, if this level is broken. But ideally, uh, I would prefer to buy it up, okay? To buy above uh, 0 0.65599 level, okay? Now, let's talk about uh, Aussie dollar, okay? Uh, Aussie dollar is very similar to, uh, it's very similar to uh, Kiwi dollar. So, you can see over here, okay, this is the recent high here. Let me just show it to you. Okay, this is the recent high, okay, uh, swing high point. Okay, price is struggling to close above, but you have a minor close and then it close back down. And now price is just, uh, you know, about to retest uh, this high. So it'll be interesting to see how, whether price can close above. Okay, on the downside, you have uh, this level over here. Okay, uh, in fact, this level is actually quite close to uh, this candle close, right? So if you change to the uh, uh, line chart and you try to map out the close of this line and you switch it back, you realize that uh, there is some form of support here and uh, price has been ranging for one, two, three, four days and you know, this is the support, okay? So price right now is in a very tight zone. Uh, this is the zone that we are looking at, okay? So uh, I do not want to be trading this zone again, okay? I want to wait for a breakout either up or down, okay? If you are buying now, it's, it just doesn't make sense because you are buying into resistance, okay? It's not a good plan, okay? The better plan would be to wait for a price to uh, break above, okay? And then look for longs or break below and then you look for shorts, okay? Just wait for the market to come to you. Stay patient, okay? Do not, uh, you know, try to force a trade, especially in uh, weeks like this where you have all these conferences, right? And uh, you have this uh, Aussie data, okay? So anything can happen during these kind of weeks. So just uh, make sure to stay patient and wait for the market to come to you. Okay, let's talk about dollar yen. Then we'll do euro yen and then we'll end up with uh, index, the US index, okay? So, um, Dollar yen uh, has been quite frustrating to trade. Okay, we took a lot of positions last week and you know some made money, some lose money. It was really difficult, it was very frustrating. Okay, so right now um dollar yen is back at support. You can see that uh it's at sitting at a 0 0.618 level. Okay, so this is typical of uh, what I said at the start of this video, where price likes to park at you know a important level before a news event. So this is the important level and the news event in question is this one over here, okay? So this currency pair right now exactly, you know, shows you what I'm trying to say. But I don't just tell you the theory which is, uh, you know, price likes to park at a major level before the news event. Okay, I show it to you. So in this case, it just parked nicely here. In fact, on Friday, it closed at the level, precisely at the level. Okay, so you only need to um, be very cautious about all these levels. Just need to pay attention to this level uh, going into uh, the news event and just watch for the reaction of the level to make your decision. Okay, so what is interesting about this level is also it's actually a shoulder head shoulder. So you can see over here that a uh, price has been going down and this is the left shoulder, this is the head and now it's a right shoulder. Okay, in fact, it's so accurate, right, that if you were to change to a line chart and you draw the, uh, this candle here, okay, you just uh, draw the line on this uh, candle close, uh, you can see that price is just sitting nicely on it, okay? So price is definitely in, at support right now, okay? The only question is, uh, will BOJ break it or, you know, support it, okay? So we really don't know and I don't want to guess, okay, I keep emphasizing that I don't want to be guessing what the market's going to do. I want to just see whether there's a reaction here or it just breaks down and then I just take my trade uh, accordingly. 
Okay, that's what I will do. Just take note of this level. And uh, if this level is broken, then uh, you can look at this uh, recent swing high uh, as a potential um as a potential take profit level. Okay. Okay, Euro Yen. Okay, Euro Yen, uh, what's very interesting is that uh, price on Friday broke uh, this level. So what happens is that on the weekly close, uh, price uh, actually kind of closed below uh, this, because it closed here, right? So it closed below the trend line on the weekly chart, okay? But uh, today it looks like, you know, price uh, is not going down, okay? And it looks like this level over here, um, let me just draw it. Okay, this level over here uh, is holding, okay? So how do you get this level? Okay, you just change the line chart and uh, you can see that uh, this level over here, okay? Uh, it's kind of like a combination of here and here, okay? This uh, swing low and this swing low, just change back into the, uh, just change back into the candlestick chart and you can see why uh, price on Friday didn't close below and today it didn't even trade like below it at all. You don't even see a wick, you know, you don't even see price uh, trading below this zone at all. Okay, so this level, uh, 120.769 is a very strong level. Okay, it doesn't mean that uh, this, this trend line cannot uh, be broken, right? Price can still go up, okay? So I want to be very cautious, okay? If you want to short, then uh, make sure that this uh, 120.769 level is broken, okay? If you want long, okay, uh, make sure that um, this entire zone is clear, okay? So I think uh, Euro Yen, it's a waiting game. Okay, either you wait for this level to be broken, 121.97, or you wait for 120.769 to be broken. Okay, I don't want to be buying here and selling here because uh, let's say you were to buy here and price is resisted at this trend line, then uh, your profit is going to be very, very little and you know, it might just do this. Okay, and if you shift your stop loss to break even, it takes you out at break even and then it comes up here again, right? Um, it's just something I don't like to do, right? I like to have a clear break and I like to write the trend. I do not like to you know, take this kind of trades buy here, then it comes here, it retrace down, and then I see uh, my profits turn into losses, and then after that, it goes back into profit again. Okay? Uh, it's just not the way I like to trade. Okay, I prefer to wait for a clean break of uh, either of these levels. Okay? So uh, just stay patient. Okay, let's look at uh, this uh, US index, Dow Jones, and then uh, we'll end off. Okay, so Dow Jones, it's, uh, it's annoying as well, because you have this uh, high over here. Uh, let me show you. Okay, this high over here. Okay, same thing if you cannot identify that this is the resistance, change to the line chart. You can see that uh, this level that I drawn is uh, the resistance. Okay, so you do realize that even before uh, I change the line chart, I can already pick up the resistance level. Okay, that's because uh, I've been staring at the charts for many, 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 many years. Okay, I have a lot of experience. So I, to me, it's natural. But if you're new to trading, right? Uh, then make sure you just change the line chart because it's just a click of button and uh, you can see the levels very clearly. Okay, so definitely make use of that little trick that I have for you. Okay, so right now what we are seeing is that we are seeing a form of a bullish buildup. Okay, so what's interesting is that uh, you have a nice piercing pattern here, you have another nice piercing pattern here. Okay, so there seems to be some bullish pressure to break this level. Okay, uh, I don't want to be buying here because uh, you are buying at resistance. But uh, if you know I can do a pre-breakout, if I can get it at you know somewhere here, I'll be keen to buy, right? I'll be keen to buy this breakout. And uh, hopefully, you know, when I buy here and comes here, I ship to break even and I pray that you know it, it just bursts up to the recent high. Okay, that will be how I trade uh, this currency pair. Okay, uh, this is a bit more aggressive because uh the price hasn't broken out, but uh, I'm just speculating that uh this break this this uh entire consolidation pattern will break out. So if I were to buy here and get it at a good level, uh, I would just want to shift my stop loss to break even when price hits the uh, 26325 level, which is the recent high, and that's the resistance level. Okay, so there you have it for this week. Okay, so if you are new to this channel and you have not downloaded our free day trading guide, uh, make sure you download it. Okay, previously our website was down, but we have fixed it. So uh, you can get your free day trading guide now. It's, uh, just click the link in the description, the link, the, the, the access is free, you just provide your email and uh, the, our service will push the uh, PDF to you. You can just download it, right? You can use that uh, to analyze the market, okay? We teach you how to dissect the market uh, just like how I did, okay? To first, by understanding the market condition, then moving to price levels, then we talk about a trigger, 
Okay. Uh, as always, right, make sure you trade safe, make sure you manage your risk because it's going to be a very difficult week this week, right? And I do not want uh, you, you guys to blow your account. So just trade safe, right? Manage your risk. If you have any questions, any particular currency pair that uh, you want me to analyze, you want, you know, you want some advice on what levels to look at, uh, just comment down in the comment section, right? I'll do my best to address it, okay? If not, then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.